Welcome back to Kath Reviews Expensive Activewear Brands to see if they're worth your money. So today we're reviewing Athleta. I've gotten tons of requests to review Athleta recently, honestly for the past couple of months. I've been getting little trickling requests from you guys to review them. And I actually used to wear Athleta like a lot in like high school and college. Back in the days where I thought the only two activewear brands to exist were Lululemon and Athleta, I actually wore a ton of Athleta. I'm pretty sure they don't have the styles that I used to wear anymore. I wore like the Sona tights a lot and I wasn't really seeing those on the website. Those are like a super high performance material. But I can say I wore those leggings to dance practice like multiple times a week for like four years and they held up the entire time. So I can attest to Athleta's quality at least like in their older styles. I am trying all new styles today that I haven't tried from them before. I feel like in the activewear industry the expensive brand that gets the most hype is obviously Lululemon but I really don't hear that many people talk about Athleta which is kind of weird because I actually think they're a great company with really great values. They're super size inclusive. All of their leggings come in like extra extra small to 3XL. They're also very height inclusive. They have a 25 inch which is like the petite, a regular, which is 28. And then they have a tall, which is 30 inches. And it's hard to find a 30 inch inseam in leggings. So my tall ladies, Athleta has got you. And something that I really liked while shopping on the website was every single style of their bras comes in an A to C range and a D to double D plus range, which like is very rare to see in sports bras. So this is really speaking to me as a girl in the double D plus range because they're actually designing the same like cute styles of bras to fit and better support larger cup sizes. So I just love that. Also, I did purchase all of this with my own money and the shipping was pretty good. It took about five days to get to me, which isn't like Amazon fast, but it was still pretty quick. They're definitely on the pricey end of things. I think the leggings that I got today were around like 80 to $90, but they are a certified B Corp, which means they follow certain standards in regards to sustainability and factory working conditions. So I love that focus for them. There's like a whole section on their website about it if you wanna read more. Super quick rant before we start the review. If you wanna just skip to the review, I always put timestamps so you can skip, but we're ranting for a second. Usually I go for more like affordable leggings, at least like not anywhere near like the $90 range. But whenever I have even a slight complaint about the price of something, there's always some troll in the comments who has to be like, well, they're paying their workers better because they're charging more for their leggings, which is just not always true. You can't look at the price of clothing and assume how that company is practicing sustainability and factory conditions. More expensive prices does not always equal increased wages for the people actually making the leggings. For example, this doesn't just apply to like drop shipping white labeling companies, but for example, there are companies who literally sell the same product that you can get on AliExpress for $5 for literally like $60 to $80. Like, and it's made in the exact same place. Like the factory conditions are the same. They're just charging a lot more. So if you're someone who really values sustainability and working conditions when you're shopping, don't just take it at face value. Do your research. Price does not mean everything. So we're gonna start off with leggings. I asked on my Instagram a couple weeks ago if you guys had any like favorites from Athleta and I heard the elation tight, the salutation tight. And honestly, looking on their website, they didn't have like that many more leggings other than these two. Like they had a lot of variations of the elation and salutation tights, but they didn't have the same leggings I used to wear. Like I used to wear the sonar tight and the chaturanga tights. The chaturanga tights did used to pill a lot though, but the sonar tights were really good. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, first of all, I really don't like the way that they wrap their stuff. Like it was wrapped in plastic and this paper and it's just creating a mess. Very petty, but you know. Okay, so first we have the ultra high rise elation tight. So I got two pairs of leggings. One of them, I got the tall length inseam. So this is a 30 inch inseam. And the other one, I got the normal length, which is 27 inches, which I'm a tall girl, I'm 5'9", but my legs like proportionally to my body are not super long. So I actually usually do just fine with a 28 inch inseam. So this 30 inch might be a little long on me, but for my super tall girls with the long legs, 30 inches. So these were $89, which is pretty pricey. Although I do know that Athleta does run sales pretty often and has stuff like in their clearance. That's where I used to get all my leggings and like their clearance section. And I also heard from some people to size down in their leggings, their size chart, you know, I need to look up their size chart. Actually their size chart was in kind of like a normal range. So I feel like I'll be a small, but I did get an extra small just in case. So 
Hopefully that fits too. So like I said, these are the Elation tights. These are made of their Power Vita fabric, which is like a buttery soft, very slightly brushed fabric. Just by feel, it feels like pretty sturdy and just has a very slight soft feeling. So I feel like this would actually be pretty good workout fabric. And their waistband is actually really thick. I was just reading on the website that it's actually a three layer thick waistband with like an inner mesh lining to give like a lot of tummy control, which is definitely nice because you don't see that very often. You can tell it has a little mesh lining because this is like the little pocket here and here's just like a little close-up of the fabric very slightly brushed also i put too much fake tan on my hands and now they're orange so please don't judge me I'm doing my best so the power vita fabric is a nylon spandex blend and it actually has spf protection it said up to spf 50 so that's pretty good if you're like an outdoorsy person. So the waistband is pretty high. This is the ultra high rise one. I wasn't gonna mess around with like a mid rise cause I know I wouldn't have liked it. They do have a front seam. It seems like all of these brands like Lululemon, Athleta, Aloe Yoga, they have yet to get rid of their front seam. And I'm like, get with the times people. Just your classic little crotch gusset here. It's not extended or anything. 30 inch inseam. The back concerns me a little bit because there's a lot of like waistband in the back and I just don't feel like they're going to be super flattering on the glutes because I don't know I just predict this is going to sit over the glutes and not be super flattering but the glute seams are very slightly tapered so maybe there is some hope after all let's try them on all right so here is the first pair of leggings and I definitely have like a couple little pros and cons but overall I actually feel like they feel really high quality and I love this fabric if you've seen my aloe yoga review a lot of the leggings like didn't really feel like they were like super high quality. And like the fabrics to me didn't feel like they should be charging $90. But this one feels like a really great fabric. It's super soft brushed, but it's so stretchy too. Like, you know, when you're like just disappointed when a legging doesn't have enough stretch, this one has so much stretch, but it's also not so fuzzy that I feel like it's gonna pill. Like it actually feels like it's going to be pretty good so so far so good this is the 30 inch inseam and it's just too long for me um i kind of knew that 30 inches would be too much for me but it's just kind of bagging at the bottom but they have other inseam options obviously so i could just choose one of those i just wanted to try the 30 inches for you guys so the leggings fit really well everywhere like except for the waist so i feel like if these were to fit me properly they would have a lot of waistband compression because they do have that like inner mesh like three layers but because it's such a thick structured waistband and it's too big on me it just kind of like sits out you know gapes when i bend over so i'm glad i got a size extra small in another pair of leggings because usually I don't have this problem in a size small leggings. So I would say that these run a little bit big. I would consider sizing down. So I would actually say they have pretty good lower tummy control as well because it does go pretty far down. Overall compression, I'd give it about a medium. I still feel like this fabric like really holds you in. It might even be like somewhat cellulite friendly just because it's a little bit thick and compressive. So I would say maybe cellulite friendly. I don't always love when you can see these little lines in the waistband, but I think that's because of the pocket in here. So like I thought, they do kind of sit over my glutes a little bit too much for my liking. These are just a medium on the booty scale. They're not really squishing it down. They're just not doing anything to enhance. So I prefer a little bit more high on the booty scale personally. Sizing elsewhere, everything's really good. Like I don't have any extra fabric gaping. Everything's hugging really nicely. This fabric is definitely a nice like hugging compressive fabric that just kind of gets in your curves in all the right places. We do have a front seam, but it's not invasive. So that's great to see. Since this fabric is kind of slightly brushed, it may attract some lint and pet fur, but I can't imagine it would be too much because it's not like super brushed. And usually when I just exist around cat if the legging is really an attractant, it would collect. I don't see any cap around these, so it's not horrible. I'm gonna do the sit test, even though these leggings aren't really tight on my waist. Um, I don't see them causing any problems with the sit test. Again, it's kind of unfortunate because these do have a little top band here, but because it's so loose on my waist, I can't really tell if it's cutting in. Anyways, if these were in my correct size, I think I actually would really like them because I do really like the fabric and they just feel like a really solid pair of high quality leggings, so. cat break. Peach, how's it going? Do you like your new blanket? Peach, look at us. Hey, so pretty. Hey, Pins, how's it going? Yeah, 
Next pair of leggings, I got the Salutation Stash Leggings. So they are the stash leggings because they have a little side pocket, but we'll get into that. I did get these in an extra small just to see. They don't actually look like super small. So I actually think that I'll probably fit in these just fine. They're $98, so even more expensive than the last ones. This is just the regular 27 inch length. Same Power Vita fabric as the last one. So it's just very slightly brushed. Bringing the camera a little bit closer because easier to talk details. Here's an up close of the fabric. It's a nice brush material, but not too fuzzy. It's pretty thick and super stretchy. So I actually have high hopes for this fabric. This one does have a front seam again. They're all going to have front seams. Kind of slightly tapered glute seams in the back. This one has side pockets because this is the Salutation Stash legging. But it's kind of an interesting pocket design because it doesn't have like seams that go all the way down the leg. The front pocket seam just kind of stops in the middle. So it's probably like a less noticeable pocket. A couple little fuzzies coming off, but that's not a huge deal. And here's the pocket. It's actually a bonded edged seam for the pocket. So if you can see, that's kind of like the legging thing kind of folded over. So you don't have a harsh seam on the pocket. It actually kind of flows seamlessly throughout the legging. So it's not a very noticeable pocket, which is nice. This is definitely a different waistband than last time. We actually don't have a seam at the top of the waistband, but the waistband is kind of interesting. It feels like it's gonna have a lot of compression. It has like a lot more like stiffness and rigidity than the rest of the legging. I feel like they must have lined it with something because it's definitely like thicker. I hope you can see it definitely has some structure. So I think it's actually going to be quite compressive. So it looks like Athleta really prioritizes waistband compression, which compared to something like a Lululemon Align, which everyone hypes about, those have like no waistband compression at all. Excited to try these. These also just have a regular crotch gusset too. All right, so here are the stash leggings and the extra small is definitely better in the waist. As you can see, it's not really gaping. I wonder if it has any gaping not, not really. I feel like they just try to make their waistbands so thick that like they don't have as much stretch as they should. So it just doesn't like want to sit super tight at the top of the waistband. I don't know. I, li I like the waistbands in theory, but they're honestly just okay. It does sit pretty smoothly on me and I feel like it actually is pretty flattering. And if you're like number one thing with leggings is tummy control, you have to try these leggings because they truly do have like a really thick layer here and they're gonna squish any tummy down. So definitely a plus there. This is the same fabric, which honestly, I really, really love this fabric. Like this would be like a top fabric for me. It's super stretchy, so soft. And even in this extra small, which I can feel like may have been a little bit tight in the legs, it actually doesn't feel too compressive or anything because it is so stretchy. Waistband is a solid high compression. The rest of the leggings is about medium, maybe medium to high. So we have this pocket here and I feel like it's doing like a kind of like weird little like, I don't know, indent thing, maybe because these leggings are a little small on me. I don't know, I can't really tell, but it's a solid pocket size and I do like the pocket design. It just kind of stays in one place and it's not like a super noticeable pocket, but you can see on this side too, it does a little indent thing. So I just feel like that's a little strange. These are a little bit better on the booty. They still kind of sit a little too low for me, but it's actually not bad. I don't feel like I'm being squished down and overall medium on the booty scale, nothing crazy, but they're not too bad. I'm not really sure if it's the size for this one or if I pulled them up a little too much. The front seems like a little more invasive than the last one, a little more invasive than I would like, but it's still definitely manageable. And another thing about their compressive waistbands is I can just tell that these leggings are going to stay up really well. Like if you're hiking, walking, working out, I just feel like these would stay up really well. Same situation in the back. I feel like they might be cellulite friendly. I also would expect them to be pretty sweat friendly too, just because materials like this tend to dry pretty quickly. All right, a little sit test. This one, I'm a little more worried about. Yeah, I mean, there's no seam at the top to cut into your waist. So that's definitely a plus on this one compared to the last one, but it is a very firm waistband. So if you're on the shorter side and you tend to have leggings roll down on you a lot, they might roll down, but because it's so structured, it should bounce back pretty good. So as far as leggings go for Athleta, I do think that these are expensive, but I could see them being worth the splurge. They do feel really high quality, really nice. And I do like some of their little waistband features because you don't see that very much. These are also the 27 inch one and the length is perfect on me. So I don't need a 30 inch.
Next, we have some sports bras. I was arguably more excited about the sports bras actually, because I was really pumped for that like D to double D plus cup size range. So this is the conscious crop. I got it in a size small, and then this is the like double D plus one. I always have my measurements down below, but I generally wear 32 triple D. And this is in this like gorgeous yellow color that literally matches my little pillows here. Love that. So this is kind of one of your classic crop top things that has the built-in bra. So it has a full built-in bra with the like elastic lining and everything thing underneath this. So this is $59. There's a ton of similar tops that are super affordable now that have like the same style of like being a top with a built-in bra under it for like $20 on like Amazon. I'm actually wearing one right now. It's not exactly like this one, but it's hard for me to splurge on something like this when it's very similar to a lot of the Amazon ones. They said this one is just for light impact activities, but I bet it'll be more support than just a light. But that's always a good sign when a brand isn't just throwing around high impact on every one of their bras. It's the same Power Vita fabric as the leggings, so that seems to be like their new favorite fabric now, I guess, because I swear I never tried anything in this fabric like five years ago. And they have removable cut pads and little seam lines to kind of keep their cut pads in place. So this feels really soft so far and I feel like it's gonna be cute, so let's try it. All right, so here's the first sports bra. I did get this in a size small. Technically they told me I should be an extra small and have some more extra small bras, but I really think you could do either one, you could size down for a little more compression or you could have your kind of normal sports bra size. So there is a full bra underneath this little layer here. And even in the size small, which is like technically a size up for their size chart, it still is pretty snug. I maybe have like the teeniest bit of extra space, but I still feel supported in this. If I just test out the support, they said it was a light support. I'm getting a solid medium. I'm really not going anywhere. I love the high neck of this and we scoop around at the sides, but not so much as to give me a side boob. So I think that it's pretty covered here. This one is made for like D, double D plus. So they are gonna have a little extra space for the girls there, which I love. The only thing about the size small is that it's not going to be completely flush against my back. I do have just like a little bit of extra space. It's not critical because it's not in like the bra part. So like the bra isn't too big. It's just not like 100% fully snug here. The fabric is super soft. Like this is a super comfy top and I feel very lifted and supported. Nice thick straps. And whenever a bra goes over my traps, I always like the straps to be decently thick. Just kind of spreads out the weight a little bit and doesn't like cut into you so much. When you have a thin spaghetti strap over this area, it like always hurts. Cup pads are very slightly noticeable, but it doesn't bother me. You might see a little bit of sweat in this, but this is the type of material that feels very thin and sweat wicking. So, so far so good. Next, I got the Warrior Longline Bra in the same double D plus cup size range. I actually got this one in an extra small. I believe in their size charts, they put 32 into like the extra small range. Usually I go for a small in most brands, even if they say 32 is extra small because I just need a little more space for my cup size. But I wanted to try this one because it looked like pretty good support. So this is the Space Dye print. This one is $60. They gave this one a medium impact rating, which probably seems about right. And apparently it's made of the same Power Vita fabric, but this material feels slightly different because it is like a space dye. So here's the material up close, a little space dye. And the top part is just like a normal material, but the bottom of it is also kind of like that more structured material, kind of like that legging waistband was. So I kind of like that they kind of mix up the materials that look exactly the same because from afar, you wouldn't be able to tell that this is actually a more structured material but just having this like thick, more supportive band is gonna give a little more support to the bra. This bra also has like sewn on straps made of that thicker material. So these seem like they're gonna be like kind of more firm and they're not quite as stretchy, but they're supposed to be more supportive. So that makes sense. A little crisscross situation in the back and the inside of the bra is kind of lined with like a breathable mesh and removable cut pads. So let's try it on. All right guys, the sports bras, they're just, they're just great. So I will say one little con because the bottom band is like a stiffer fabric, it was a little bit hard to get on just cause it doesn't have the most stretch, but this is the extra small, which I would definitely recommend sizing down from like your normal sports bra size. This is the size that they put me at though. So their size chart is true to size. Like the band fits me perfectly down here. It's not too tight. It's not gonna cut in anywhere, even though it's snug, but it just is providing a lot of support. I'm just living for these double D plus bras because they just fit so well. Like I have complete coverage of the girls without it having to be like a high neck bra. It has a scoop neck, but there's literally no chance of me spilling out and full side boob coverage. Like this is great. And they said this one's a medium impact. 
and I don't know, I would say medium to high. Like I'm actually really held in with this without feeling suffocated and they have removable cups, but they're really not noticeable. And I actually really like their cups because they're super thin and they kind of like taper towards the edges. So you can't see the edge quite as much. So there's a little more thickness in the middle of the cup to kind of hide any nippage, kind of tapers out at the end. Like you might look at these and think that they're flimsy, but they're actually really nice cup pads and they hide in sports bras really well, so. And because I'm annoying and I talk a lot about cup pads, I also like that they have a slight triangular shape because I just feel like that's like kind of like the shape of your boob. Like boobs aren't like perfect circles, you know? So this little triangular shape just kind of helps be like the perfect size and not be seen. I was worried these straps were going to be too long because they just looked kind of long and you can't adjust them or anything. But honestly, I like an adjustable strap, but I also don't like them sometimes because the big adjustable section when you lie down on it is just like really uncomfortable. So these straps actually fit me perfectly and they are not too tight. They do go over my traps a little bit, but they're so thick that the force is just kind of dispersed and I don't think it's really going to cut into my neck. Also, I did my nails last night and I'm kind of a fan of them. And unfortunately, my fake tan hands kind of ruin it. But here's the back. Pretty plain, just a little crisscross. But this bra just fits me like a glove. I am now Athleta Sports Bra's biggest fan, okay? I'm, I'm here for this. I really didn't know that I was getting so many bras, but this is the last bra. This is the Exhale bra in the Double D Plus range again. This one's $49 and I also got it in extra small. It's in this really nice baby pink color. And I was kind of interested to try this one. It looks like maybe could be like a lower support, but it does have that extra cup size range. So I wondered if they could kind of turn in like a lower support bra to really work for like the bigger cup sizes. This one's also made of the Power Vita fabric. It feels less brushed. Maybe sometimes they brush the Power Vita fabric more and sometimes they do it less. I don't know. Has a scoop neck in the front, removable cut pads and mesh lining as usual. And this one has just straight up and down straps, which is really good if you're someone who gets like sports bras that cut into your traps a lot and find that that hurts. And this cute little, I don't know, extra strappy detail to make a little V in the back. I thought this one was just super cute. So let's try it on. Okay, maybe no one else cares about this, but I just noticed that the cut pads have like such a large space at the side so that you can like, you know, get the cup pad in and out, which I think is such a positive because whenever the cup pad hole is like this small, I can like never get it in and out. So this is like a nice like open size that without it falling out, you can still access the cup pads really well. So I like that. All right, so here it is. And even in the extra small on this one, while it is like snug along the band here, which actually is a positive, I would say that it fits really well. It actually still totally has room for my cups. And you know what? Athleta just might be a place that I start getting more sports press from. Just the fact that you can be sure that it has enough space for the girls is just such a nice feeling. So like I said, this is an extra small. It may be like a teeny bit tight in the straps, but I do like my sports press to be pretty compressive. I don't like to be jiggling around and like a loose sports bra is like the worst thing for me at the gym like I'd rather have loose leggings than a loose sports bra so you have a nice solid elastic down here you have a scoop neck but as you can see there's no possibility of me falling out you may have like the teeniest bit of cleavage like I wouldn't even really call it cleavage but you're not gonna fall out of this and this is clearly designed by someone who has a larger cup size because you have the front coverage full space for the girls and no side boob. It goes like to the perfect place right by my armpits. That's not so close that it's gonna cut in, but close enough that it's hiding any possible side boob. So this is good stuff, this is good stuff. And I think they rated this one a light support. Honestly, I'm getting like medium, maybe medium to high support. Like. I'm not jiggling around. This might also be because of the extra small. I would say follow their size chart because even though this is extra small, size smaller than, than what I get normally, um, it still fits me perfectly, so. And here is the cute little back, just kind of a little strappy detail going on. And because it fits me so well, I don't see these straps falling down or anything, even though like they're not like a racer back, so there's nothing really preventing them from falling down. They feel like they're gonna stay put. So this color is super light. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera. I think they did a really good job for this being such a light fabric. I can barely see the cup pads. Like they're they're there. Like I can I can tell that they're there. But if you're like more than like three feet away, I don't think you could be able to see them. And finally, I got some joggers. These are the balance joggers. 
How much money did I spend on this haul? I think I must have spent like $500 on all this. That's a lot, that's a lot of money. But I did get a lot of stuff, I guess. Anyways, these are the Balance Joggers. These were also $89. I got them in this really nice sage color and I'm oh, feeling like I'm gonna like these. These are really nice. Literally all I've done is pick up these and feel the fabric, but they just feel like the kind of fabric I like. My Oh my gosh, they're like a sweatpant. This is kind of what I've been looking for. First of all, got a size small, but they're like your classic sweatpant material. Like they don't feel like an activewear material material, but look at that stretch. That's some good stretch. Okay pumped about this. So it's a semi fitted shape with about like a mid rise waistband. So hopefully it's high enough for me. The small looks pretty big. In the fabric is the plush Nirvana fabric and it's also brushed on the inside. So you're still gonna get that super soft like sweatpant interior and honestly it's really rare after my big sweatpant fiasco hunting for the best sweatpants in my reason sweatpant video none of them were like thick plush and stretchy and this one actually is stretchy so in terms of overall structure you can definitely find cheaper joggers for a similar shape i do think these feel really nice but like the overall like jogger shape isn't super unique they have a drawstring waist ribbed waistband just kind of regular pockets not zip pockets or anything your kind of classic rounded seam on the back of the joggers. I don't know why everyone does this, but they do. And little cuffs at the bottom as well. These feel like they're gonna be super comfy, so let's try them on. All right, so here are the joggers. I feel like they might run a tad big, but I actually don't mind like a slightly oversized fit for a jogger. So these are actually super comfy. They're soft on the inside, but they still have a lot of stretch to them. So they're not gonna be that kind of jogger that's like only made of fleece. That's going to be kind of stiff and like kind of stiff when you bend your knees. They feel warm, but lightweight at the same time. So I don't think they're gonna be like a too heavy of a jogger. I'm not really sure what the inseam length is, but they go right to my ankle. So on me, it's a perfect height. So I like the waistband. It does go up to my belly button. I think at a good point. I think the waistband is flattering and I like that it has the drawstring and even the ribbed part is nice, but I'm just not a fan of like these like really big drawstring ties. Like they're super bulky and they just like, I don't know, I just feel like they tie super well. So I just think that they could have done maybe like a little bit thinner of one. It's just, it's just okay. But even the inside of the pockets is soft. They're soft on the outside. Feel like they're gonna pill like crazy, but you really can't know unless you wear them a couple times. I mean, I wouldn't say they're crazy flattering, but I also don't think they're like too saggy. So yeah, these are actually solid joggers. They are pretty expensive. So personally, I'd probably try to get them on sale because I do like them, but $90 is just like a little steep for joggers for me. All right guys, so that's it for the review. I'm really glad that I finally tried Athleta, at least tried some of their updated stuff because I love their sports bras now. The joggers were actually really nice too. They are in a kind of a higher price point. I could see myself splurging on a couple of these items, but they also have things on sale and clearance. So you definitely don't have to pay full price for everything. So personally, I'd probably try to get something like the joggers on sale, but I might pay full price for their sports bras because I really liked how those fit me. The leggings, I wouldn't go and say they're like my absolute favorite. I do think they're very high quality and I love the features of the waistband, but for me, they did fit like maybe just a little bit off. The small was way too big on the waist and the extra small was like fine on the waist, but there was a little issue with the front seam. So they felt like a little small overall. So if you're really looking for tummy control, I think these are amazing leggings. But personally, I definitely have other leggings that I prefer. Fabric was super nice though. I love the Power Vita fabric. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other expensive brand you want me to try out next to see if it's worth your money. I was thinking like Beyond Yoga, Sweaty Betty, I don't know, I've never tried these brands. And if you made it all the way to the end and you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I post a video. I appreciate you guys all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.